Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm very excited about this review that I get to do on Hereditary. And I was super excited for this film to come out, and leading up to it, the hype was huge, the trailers are fantastic, this looks creepy as hell, and I was so ready for it, and I was not disappointed. Ari Aster is, does a fantastic job with this film, holding this together, building tension, building true emotion, moments that are really unnerving and creating a sense of dread throughout because this film has nothing but dread throughout this whole entire film and really getting us connected with this family was so important and Astor does such a great job of doing that pulling back the story peeling it peel by peel and helping us realize where this is going and it's a really intriguing story and it's a very interesting balance. I'm tr going to try my very, very best not to give away anything. But you question this film a lot. And I feel like the best horror films are the ones that make you question a lot. And whether this is something in somebody's head and dealing with grief or mental health issues. Or there's something really going on. And I feel like this film really totes that line so well. And really draws you in because the family drama in this film is so intriguing so interesting and the baggage that's a part of this family and where this story goes there oh, you really feel for this these characters and it really hit uh, there's a gut punch in this film that hits so hard and like i i was like like in the theater and i'm like i and this film really does that to you and it takes its twists and turns and it really makes you question keeps you on your toes it pulls you in and this film doesn't let you go and there this film goes to some places and it's terrifying and so unnerving throughout so much of this film and it has some very impressive themes dealing with mental health issues family dynamics grief and blame and the human interactions and that those tough issues when like a parent and a child are, uh, are in conflict and how do you handle that what are things not to do because this film shows some things that you shouldn't do when you're conflicted with your child and the performance is Toni Collette is a powerhouse in this film and she owns it and if she doesn't get recognition for this I'll be pissed honestly because she has to carry so much in this film and she's intense she's emotional you know everything is pouring out from the a look or just what comes out of her mouth and everything is just so taut and tense and powerful and that's what she does in this film and she really really brings it the cinematography in this is amazing I'm gonna swoon over this for a little bit but Paul Pugerselski who put this together the camera work is amazing whether there's some great tilt shots there's this opening shot of this film I'm not going to say what it is, but the opening shot of this film says so much, so much about where this film's going and the use of lighting, including a red light, and how that works inside frame and the characters' reactions to it and what this film shows you and doesn't show you and what really pushes you to have to look at is really intense and horrifying and everything there's so much detail put into this how this is edited the editing is fantastic how this jump cuts to something so symmetrically and impressively and really pulls you out this film builds so much tension and one of my favorite things about thrillers and horror films is when it could build expectations and completely swerve you on them and keeps you on your toes and you don't know where it's going and this film does that 
and the little details whether it's plot points or things characters say that build up to where this film goes and everything and the score by Colin Stetson is so creepy and unnerving and powerful and I feel like this film would have been lo missing something if it didn't have a score of, of this caliber and it really does there's some small things that I will talk about that I'm not a huge fan of the very 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 last thing in this film using some like voiceover wasn't a huge fan of I found a little bang you over the head and Alex Wolf I wasn't the hugest fan of in this film I don't know if he really captured the heft and everything that he needed to in his performance to really make his character work the best that it could which is unfortunate and then I feel like the father in this film the actual character is underutilized Steve but Gabriel Byrne does a really good job in that role with what he's given and really does what he needs to do to make this character stand out the best that he can. I felt like he was a little left out. And the young girl who is in this film that plays the daughter does a really good job of it's I feel like this was a really hard role for a young actress to handle and she does a really good job with it. I love this film. Go check out Hereditary. I'm going to give it an A.